you think of Hollywood as on the hunt for a new computer monster or a car chase. So how is it there are now seven new movies about to start Noah or Moses or Pontius Pilate? Well, first take a look at the giant success of the TV miniseries on the Bible. And here's ABC's Nick Watt. I believe your son is the promised king of his people. What is his name? Jesus. The Bible, the TV show, not the book, is today's hot topic around the water coolers here at the Calvary Community Church in Los Angeles. We do watch it with the actual Bible and we follow along with the story. He'll say to me, did that really happen? I said, let's check it in the Bible. This miniseries is a dramatization of some of the Bible's greatest stories produced by reality TV guru Mark Burnett and his actress wife, Roma Downey. Change the world. Its success largely down to the one quarter of Americans who identify themselves as evangelical Christians. Pastors have been promoting the show from their pulpits. To get people to move from the video series to actually want to open God's Word, the Bible, and begin to understand it. At least seven other biblical movies are in the works right now. Russell Crowe is playing Noah. We were talking to Russell Crowe the other night, and mm -hmm. Roma was laughing with him, saying... I teased him, I said, our ark is bigger than your ark. <laughs> Christian Bale apparently set to play Moses, and there's talk Brad Pitt might take on the role of Pontius Pilate. I will crush any rebellion. With the Bible and everything else to come, Hollywood is now chasing the Christian dollar. I am coming soon. But as one believer just told me, the word of God is written. He didn't leave us a YouTube clip. The book, they say, will always be better than the movie. Nick Watt, ABC News, Los Angeles.